A second woman has come forward to accuse Minnesota Democratic Senator Al Franken of groping her. The woman says that Franken grabbed her rear when they took a photo together, this photo at the state fair back in 2010 after Franken was elected to the U.S. Senate. Pat Kessler joins us now with more. Hi, Pat. Hi, yes, the woman's name is Lindsay Mentz. She's a former Minnesota resident who now lives in Texas. And she says she came away from a state fair photo op with Al Franken thinking he's a creeper. The former Minnesota resident says her husband took this state fair photo of her with Senator Franken in 2010. But she posted on Twitter that Franken grabbed her rear end during the photo shoot, and I felt violated and embarrassed. Thank you. It happened at the state fair, Minnesota's 10 day meet and greet tradition for politicians, including Franken, who says he doesn't remember the incident. But Wentz told CNN Franken's hand wasn't around my waist, it wasn't around my hip or side, it was definitely on my butt. Deciding to go public after another woman accused Franken of similar behavior. I mean, it happened so fast and he just mashed his, his lips against my face. Last week, Leanne Tweeden accused Franken of forcibly kissing her during a USO tour in 2006 and made public this photo of Franken appearing to grab her breasts while she slept. I was violated. I just felt like, you know, he betrayed my trust. In a written statement, Franken said he doesn't remember the state fair groping incident described by Wentz. And he said, I feel badly that Miss Wentz came away from our interaction feeling disrespected. Now come on in here. Mentz said she also had a photo taken at the same time with former Republican Congressman John Klein with no complications. Klein says he always asked women for permission before posing with an arm around them. It seemed to me to be a good, clear way so that we all understood that there was no intentional or unintentional groping involved and we were just taking a picture. Well, Senator Franken has not appeared in public since allegations of sexual harassment surfaced last week. Franken has apologized and he's agreed to cooperate with a Senate Ethics Committee investigation. All right. Thank you, Pat. You bet.